The very idea of war has already lost. Putin should switch from the language of ultimatums to the language of the world majority, which wants a just peace. the day of our joint success. Indeed, we all managed to give diplomacy a chance. Ukraine never wanted this war. It's a criminal and absolutely unprovoked aggression of Russia. And the only one who wanted it was Putin. We have succeeded in bringing back to the world the idea that joint efforts can stop war and establish a just Peace. This idea will definitely work because the world has power. The views, ideas and leadership of each nation are equally important to us. And everything that will be agreed upon at the summit today will be part of the peacemaking process that we all need. We must decide together what a just peace means for the world and how it can be achieved in a truly lasting way. The UN Charter is the basis for us. And then, when the action plan is on the table, agreed by all and transparent for the peoples, then it will be communicated to the representatives of Russia. The very idea of war has already lost. Putin should switch from the language of ultimatums to the language of the world majority, which wants a just peace. Yesterday, Putin put forward a proposal, but we must speak truth. He is not calling for negotiations. He is calling for surrender. America stands with Ukraine, not out of charity, but because it is in our strategic interest. We stand with delegations from more than 90 nations who also have a strategic interest in a just peace in Ukraine. Putin has no interest in a genuine peace. He's launched a sustained diplomatic campaign against this very summit, ordering countries to stay away. And we should ask, why does Russia feel that they are so threatened by a summit discussing the basic principles of territorial integrity, food security, and nuclear safety? No country wants peace more than Ukraine. But let us be honest, peace is more than the absence of war. An immediate ceasefire without serious negotiations, without a roadmap toward a just and lasting peace, merely on the basis of so-called new realities, would only legitimize Russia's illegal land grab. In the end, this would result in yet another frozen conflict, a scenario that is unjust, dangerous, and not sustainable.